Hey, it's Dennis, Victor Echo 3, Bravo Foxtrot, and today I wanted to talk to you about a little antenna project I've been putting together. This is a really easy project, take you about an hour once you've assembled all the parts. It's a 20 meter delta loop antenna. Now you can make this antenna for any band that you want. You can even make it multi-band. It's a little bit more complicated on the multi-band side, but I chose to make one for 20 meters. I was walking through the aisles of one of the local hardware stores and they had an end of roll special. They just had a coil of wire there and it said it had uh, uh, roughly 80 feet of wire, uh, number 14 uh, solid core. And so I thought, you know, for $9, I'll play with that, see what I can make out of it. So I bought it and uh, brought it home and uh, started looking on the internet for uh, antenna ideas. And I came across a Delta Loop. And I thought, this is a really easy antenna. And for um, 20 meters, 70.5 feet, so 70 feet. Five inch, or six inches rather. Uh, so very, very easy. I had the extra wire and I cut it a little bit long and put it together really quick and uh, strung it up in the trees. Uh, the neat thing about a Delta Loop, a low noise or lower noise than a dipole and a little bit of gain, not a whole lot, 2 dB, but hey, that makes up for loss that you may have in a switch or some coax. So let's talk about the construction. Let's take a look at what the components are. So let's take a quick peek at uh, how the antenna is built. First of all, we've got a 14 gauge wire. You'll need about 75 feet just to be on the safe side. I decided to use a four to one ballon. You can also build this antenna using a tuning stub. There's all kinds of information about that on the web. Uh, you can check it out. You'll need some 75 ohm coax, one quarter wavelength, uh, and you'll have to compensate for the velocity factor of the coax. I'm not gonna get into that in this video. I'm gonna use a, or I did decide to use a four to one commercial ballon. Uh, then you'll need a piece of coax to suit your needs. The formula for the antenna is really quite simple. 1,005 divided by the frequency in megahertz equals your length in feet. So in my case, 1,005 divided by 14.200 in megahertz. And that gave me a length of uh, 70 feet, uh, 0.775, or you know, rounded off to 70 feet, 9 inches. Um, after doing some tweaking and some adjusting, uh, I found that uh, my ideal length was a 70 foot um, 6 inches. So it wasn't that far off from the quote, but I really started at about 74 feet and, and cut back until I got to an area where uh, everything worked out for me. Now, uh, the antenna is, uh, you, can, you can change the orientation of the antenna to be either horizontally polarized or vertically polarized. The two images on top show that it's horizontal. Uh, the image on the, uh, on the left is actually the way that I've set mine up because uh, you only really need one support point. But if you have a couple of trees or a tree and a mast, uh, you can uh, hook up uh, uh, the antenna or set it up, I should say, uh, like the photo here on the right, and uh, you'll save yourself some coax. If you want to go vertical polarization, there's two configurations down below that uh, will help you set that up. Now, as I mentioned, I use the uh, commercial ballon. I use the LDG ballon. If you watch some of my previous videos, I keep three of these in my go bag. I keep a one to one, a four to one, and a four to one unum. And uh, that uh, gets me through all the antenna projects that I want to play with. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive, about $30 US or $45 Canadian. And uh, in this case here, I just cut a little piece of, uh, of uh, pipe that you can see in behind here. This is an ABS pipe and I drilled a few holes in there. And uh, that's the strain relief uh, for the antenna so I'm not pulling on the binding posts. Um, so you can see there the uh, configuration of the holes, just six little holes and uh, uh, kind of thread the wire through and uh, again, takes care of the strain relief. And uh, in the next slide here, you'll see that uh, I've got the um, uh, little wire wrap uh, tied to the ballon and uh, to, the, uh, uh, to the little piece of ABS and a little key ring there to, uh, uh, to support it and uh, just hoist that rope up into the trees. And uh, in this case here, it's about 25 feet high. Uh, at the apex, and uh, the key is you want to keep the bottom, um, the, the bottom element or the bottom third of the antenna, uh, a minimum of six feet off the ground uh, for proper uh, radiation. And then uh, in the two points, uh, at the two corners of the antenna, I've got another little piece of uh, ABS pipe. This is a three-quarter inch pipe or one inch diameter, and I drill some holes in there uh, to support a rope and. Uh, 
uh, to insulate it from the wire. Now, it's not all that important that it be a perfect triangle, but you know, as close as possible. I mean, you can even make it a square, have it a, as a um, as a square loop, or you can make it a perfect circle if you can, and and make it a uh, a full loop. So uh, you know, another configuration here on the uh, on the end stub that you can use a tie wrap. Uh, again, just uh, play around with it. There's a million possibilities here, so experiment, have fun with it. Now, as far as SWR readings, um, to, I was very, actually very surprised at the performance of this antenna. Uh, you know, we don't expect it to be that great on uh, 80 or 40 meters, but it is tunable. It would be a loss antenna, it's a compromise antenna, but uh, uh, 7.1 to 1 on 80, uh, 5.7 to 1 on uh, 40. Uh, my LDG tuner uh, tuned it up fine, no problem whatsoever. Uh, now we built it for 14 or for 20 meters and at 14200, 1.38. That's where it's resonant, or that's where I got the best results. And uh, it's under 1.5 to 1 across the entire band. So that was a score, that's what I was after. Uh, on the 15 meter band, 3.1 to 1. On the uh, uh, 10 meter band, a 28, uh, 425, the calling frequency, it's 1.6 to 1, so it's usable without a tuner. In the CW portion, it does uh, much, much better, and then the, uh, the SWR does climb into the, uh, into the FM portion of the band, so uh, you know, a tuner would be required. And as an added bonus, well, the 6 meter band, uh, 2 to 1 at uh, 50.150, uh, and it was actually 2 to 1 across most of the 6 meter band, so again, usable with a tuner. And now if you're an 11 meter fan, uh, this uh, was actually quite surprising to me. At 11 meters, it was a one point, uh, in the center of the 11 meter band, uh, with my antenna analyzer, I found that it was at uh, uh, 1.25 to 1. So uh, that's the, the harmonic, right? So uh, pretty cool stuff. And uh, that's it in a nutshell. That's the components of the antenna and the performance of the antenna. Let's see if we can make a contact. So I've got my little 891 here, uh, Yesu 891, my little uh, LDG Z11 Pro 2 tuner. It's in the bypass mode, so I'm just running off the antenna. Uh, the band does have a little bit of activity. It's not incredibly long. It's Victor Echo 3, Bravo, Foxtrot. Now, very good morning, Ricky. Very good morning to you, sir. My name is Dennis Delta Echo Nancy India Sierra. My call sign Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot. I'm actually operating portable at a campground today and I'm actually making a little YouTube video here. So uh, if you don't mind, uh, this contact is being recorded and uh, I'm testing out a new uh, Delta Loop antenna that I just constructed uh, for 20 meters here. And uh, the apex is at about 25 feet. And and the main, uh, the main body of the antenna is at about 12 feet off the ground and I'm operating here at a campground. Uh, back to you, Ricky. Okay, Dennis, very good. Uh, about five by five, five by six. So I, I do have some noise on this end. I'm in the city of Virginia Beach, Virginia. I am located right now about 75 uh, miles uh, northwest uh, of the city of Ottawa, uh, the capital city of Canada. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of where I am here and I'm operating with a little Yesu uh, FT891 and I'm just sitting outside my RV here having a little bit of fun. Over. Nothing out there. I mean, if you hear things that you know my other radios just wouldn't hear. Over. 
Oh, I can't agree with you more, Ricky. I can't agree with you more. And uh, I invite you to take a peek at my QRZ page as well. I like operating portable. I like getting out in the different areas. And uh, this is certainly my radio of choice. Uh, Ricky, thanks very much for the contact. By the way, uh, the band's breathing a little bit and you're coming in to me here um, anywhere from uh, uh, a solid 5.5 five to a 5.7. So uh, a little bit of movement on the band this morning. Well, thanks very much, Ricky, and thanks for the contact today. I've got the call corrected in my log here, KX4 uh, Radio Control. So very good, sir. I wish you 73. Thanks for coming back to my, uh, to my uh, shout out there, and uh, glad to hear you today. Um, Kilo X-Ray 4 Radio Charlie, this is Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot Portable, 73. Uh, Victor Echo 3, uh, Romeo Mike Juliet. Um, are you an aeronautical mobile there, Rob? Uh, very good to hear you uh, uh, stumbling onto the band with you. Uh, good signal here into Eganville, Ontario. Over. Hey Rob, the summer has been going fantastic. Uh, got copy there, 38,000 feet over Nebraska. And you're 5'5 five, five to 5'7, five, the band's breathing a bit. And I'm actually recording this on YouTube for a little delta loop that I just created. And uh, uh, you're my second contact with it, over. All right, 73, Rob, thanks for the contact. Uh, good to hear you, sir, and uh, have a safe flight and enjoy the, uh, uh, the evening in Vegas there. Uh, Victor Echo 3, Romeo, Mike, Juliet. This is Victor Echo 3, Bravo, Foxtrot. Well, that was a very cool contact, uh, having uh, my friend Rob, uh, who's a, an airline pilot, uh, flying over to Nebraska, over Nebraska uh, towards uh, uh, Nevada uh, having an air and nautical in the mobile so that's pretty cool a um, couple of things I should mention about this antenna that I didn't mention before first of all I'm going to throw a couple of links here two of the websites that inspired me to uh, uh, build this antenna I hope this uh, video has helped you out inspired you to maybe uh, create one of these antennas or build one um, they're an awful lot of fun there's also another couple of websites uh, just do some searching there on Google or another search engine of your choice and you'll find that you can make a multi-band antenna uh, delta loop so uh, again less need of a tuner thanks for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, please leave me a comment below if uh, you have any questions I'll be happy to answer them if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down that's okay I don't mind I got thick skin but do me a favor write me a comment and let me know what you didn't like about the video that way I can make it better for everyone I'm Victor Echo 3 Bravo Foxtrot saying 73 for now and we'll catch you on the next one.